Alright guys, so I've made a ton of videos in the past talking about the best upcoming games you didn't know about, like upcoming FPS games and overall a lot of compilation videos of all genres, but in today's video I want to talk about my most anticipated games that I am waiting for, and I think most of them will definitely surprise you. As some of you know my channel is mostly centered on games that do not get enough attention, and I'm definitely excited for some that might be unknown to you watching this, but trust me they look or could definitely be great. This is all my opinion of course, so let's start right away. The games are in no particular order here. First off, we have Atomic Heart. I'm so intrigued by this game and it looks so different than others, but at the same time has some similarities to Bioshock and Fallout, which I love so much. Atomic Heart first had me interested because of its setting and its type of enemies. The setting, being in Russia, is just full of weird locations and abandoned laboratories and secret underground sections that's filled with different experimental enemies created from those laboratories. All of this happens in a varied open world with different unique locations. Atomic Heart is an action RPG game. The story is all about the things that could have happened in the reality of the USSR but didn't. Technical revolution has already occurred, robots, the internet, holograms have already been invented, but all these innovations are immersed in the atmosphere of communism, also imperialism and confrontation with the West. The game is an adventure first person shooter, events of which unfold in an alternative universe during the high noon of the Soviet Union. The main character of the game is a special agent who was sent to a highly secret object by the Soviet government after it went radio silent. The project is an all out Soviet setting with a pitch of insanity, action packed gameplay and a thrilling story that will keep you entertained for the whole duration of your journey into the world of Atomic Heart. Unfold the secret Secrets, restore peace and order, and show the mortal land what you got. Next up we have Manor Lords, a beautiful and epic looking game where you create your own village and make war with others to control more territory. I've always had respect for games like these where you control all your little people. There's this sort of tranquility playing something like this that no other genre have in my opinion. Same goes for games like Planet Coaster, Surviving Mars, Age of Empires and such. There's no story put in front of you, you curate your own story. After a long work day, I like to sit back and put hours into games like these, and Manor Lords will 100% be the next one that I play. Manor Lords is an upcoming medieval strategy game for PC made by a very small indie team that combines deep, organic and realistic city building with large scale tactical battles. The building mechanic is motivated by the growth of real medieval towns and villages, where major trade routes and landscape often influence how the settlements shaped and developed. It is full of tiny little details. The fields must be plowed by a team of oxen, iron bloom in a bloomery, the sheep herded on the open pastures governed by the lord of the manor and more. This combined with an attention to detail is the key to immersing yourself fully in this medieval city you rule. The seasons pass, the weather changes, towns can rise and fall to war, disease or famine. Manor lords aim to portray battles that feel real with large scale unit formations, moral, flanking, fatigue, weather and equipment all coming into play. You'll need to position your troops wisely. Even a smaller force can beat a large one if commanded well. Cavalry, fortifications, units on walls, gunpowder and siege engines like trebuchets are a work in progress and will certainly be present in the final game. Next up we have Project 007. Now this one has been announced just recently and oh man oh man am I excited to see what this game will look like. Picture this, a new James Bond AAA game made by the creators of the Hitman series, IO Interactive. There is no better developers to create a James Bond game, period. You sometimes feel like James Bond when playing Hitman in some missions. 
I've played almost every James Bond games from GoldenEye to the little movies game mashup with Daniel Craig, like Bloodstone. This one though, Project 007, could be really special. Featuring a wholly original Bond story, players will step into the shoes of the world's favorite secret agent to earn their 00 status in the very first James Bond origin story. That's all we know for now, there's no gameplay, no more details, but rest assured that I will be covering it on the channel whenever we do. I'm super excited for this. Next up we have Little Devil Inside. This one is a really unique project that I've been waiting 5 years for since its announcement in 2015. What attracted me the most with this project is first of all, the things you can do in it, ranging from many survival elements, battling many bosses, discovering a beautiful world to its kind of cuteness that makes it different from others. It seems like a game everyone can play and I'm sure my girlfriend would absolutely love this. Little Devil Inside is a truly engaging semi-open world action adventure RPG game where you are thrown into a surreal but somewhat familiar setting with humans, creatures and monsters to interact with, learn and hunt. You will journey, survive and discover the world that exists beyond. This game is not just about killing the many different enemies and saving the world. You will take in the atmosphere and live a realistic life in an unrealistic world. Hence the survival element where you're just a normal person living in his own house. This is a game that tells stories about people with unusual jobs such as hunting monsters and what happens in their everyday life doing so. You will be exploring plenty of unique locations thanks to your annoying scientific friend who sends you on many missions. Unlike some other survival games, there will be a hometown or city to return to rest and prepare for your next mission. The town itself will have its own set of events and elements to interact with. It's looking really good. Next up we have Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, so I said the games are in no particular order, but I have to admit this is the one I'm most excited for at the moment. Hogwarts Legacy seems to be the dream game that I have been waiting for. Ever since this project leaked in 2018, I have been begging for it to be actually officially revealed, and it did just months ago. A massive open world RPG where you can fight many different monsters and also explore different villages, forests and the school of Hogwarts. How better can this get? You'll also be able to go to classes, make the friends you want, have your own little house and decide to be good or evil. This all sounds so epic. You'll be playing as a student attending the famous school for witchcraft and wizardry during the 1800s. Set years before Harry Potter is born, you get to experience student life and embark on a dangerous journey to uncover a hidden truth of the wizarding world. As an open world RPG, Hogwarts Legacy is said to put you at the heart of your own adventure in this wizarding world, where you get to be the witch or wizard you choose to be. The player character, which will be created by you and be unique from every other, will learn to cast various magical spells, brew potions, tame magical beasts and master other combat abilities. A morality system will also play a role in the game where every decision you make will alter the course of the story. I also really hope we get to play some Quidditch tournament in this. You wouldn't want to miss this opportunity to make this. Super excited for it. Next up we have Scorn. Scorn is one of the weirdest, most disgusting game I have ever seen and I love it. The clearly HR Giger inspired setting is a threat to look at and its monsters, as grotesque as they look, are made in such a unique way that I can't even get my mind around it. Mix this kind of weird atmosphere with FPS and horror and you get Scorn. Scorn is an atmospheric first-person horror adventure game set in a nightmarish universe of odd forms and somber tapestry. It is designed around the idea of being thrown into the world. Isolated and lost inside this dreamlike world, you will explore different interconnected regions in a non-linear fashion. The unsettling environment is a character itself. Every location contains its own theme, like story, puzzles and characters that are integral in creating a cohesive world. Throughout the game you will open up new areas, acquire different skill sets, weapons, various items and try to comprehend the sights presented to you. The story is happening as you move and the decisions made will change the course of it. You could try to kill a monster that's just passing behind you with no intention on killing you, but since you attacked and killed them, the species will now be against you throughout the game. All the storytelling happens in game with no cutscenes to distract you from the grisly reality of the living, breathing world you're in. 
This is a hardcore FPS horror game that looks super promising. Next up we have Towers, I'm still wondering when this thing will be releasing but man does it look like an absolute blast to play. Towers is an open world survival game that will have you either kill or save the ecosystem with other online players. Now beside this ecosystem stuff there's a whole story to discover, but the main part of it is what you will be doing with this ecosystem. You and your friends are thrown into this world and will decide its fate. For example you can build yourself a house or village in a particular place but if you do so well one species of animal might disappear because the tree you took down right here is no more and that was its only food this complete change of environment might bring a brand new species close to you that isn't as friendly as the other was in towers players will explore and experiment and figure things out for themselves but they'll also be able to work together other players are your collaborators each helping to nurture flora and fauna bringing the island back to life there's PvE with hostile creatures and eventually even demonic invasions that can destroy the whole server, but other players won't be obstacles. Once the player builds the ecosystem up, they have the resources to rebuild their civilization. The game is pretty much about balancing the two. As you recreate and bring back life again, your other job is to bring back your own people, your own civilization, but then you run up against the same problem your ancestors did. Finally we have Exo Mecha. This one is in my list for the simple fact that it looks like mindless fun and I could get behind playing this after a long day of work. I like to call these games the popcorn games where like I said it's just mindless fun. Exo Mecha is a free to play online competitive first person shooter that takes place on a planet called Omeka. The game provides players an immersive experience with its high quality visuals, flexible gameplay, giant mechs, unique gadgets and abilities and also possible battles. The unique gameplay brings limitless possibilities on how you engage in the combat. At first, the Exomeca journey will start with all natural environments. As more civilizations come to the planet, the maps will evolve and each civilization will reflect its theme to maps. In Exomeca, you will be able to control your personalized mechs. They will be equipped with both long-range firearms and giant melee weapons. The reason the developers put melee weapons for the mechs is that they want to add a unique flavor to the battle. Primary weapons of the mechs are their swords and shields and they have the highest damage compared to any other weapon in the game. There's also going to be plenty of vehicles for players to choose from. Alright guys that is all for my favorite upcoming games at the moment. Make sure you share your list of favorite ones in the comments below and also drop a like to give some support. Of course subscribe to stay tuned for more news on these upcoming games. Thanks to Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Rekno23 and Kian's Fagari for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents a month. It'll help me and the channel as a whole to make more and better videos. Thanks for watching.